Hello guys, welcome to a new video. This video will be a bit different from what I usually do. And it's because uh, many of you guys have asked me exactly how I've been using uh, custom firmware on the normal um, SysNand where I play games like Apex Legends and Fortnite, uh, which are required to be downloaded in the Nintendo eShop. And since some of, uh, there's a lot of misconceptions about how you get banned from Nintendo just because uh, you have a, a modded Switch. And I just want to clear everything up so that you guys understand how exactly I do all of this. So in order to do this, it's pretty straightforward. I will be showing you step by step exactly what I have in my Switch so that you guys can uh, pretty much understand. So the first thing you should note is that you must have the latest version of Hakate Nix, um, which is the bootloader all modded Switch uses. And obviously the latest version of Atmosphere and the latest version of the official Nintendo Switch uh, firmware. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the tutorial. The first thing I uh, will show you is exactly what I have in my SD card that allows me to boot the CFW and the SysNand. So in order to do that, let's go to Tools, USB Tools, and we're going to uh, use the USB mass storage or you can use an SD card adapter to plug your SD card into your computer. So let's go ahead and do that. So once you're in your Switch SD, what you're going to do is go into your bootloader folder. And we're going to go into this folder right here called Hecate IPL.ini. Open it up and you're going to see a lot of stuff here. Um, uh, I'm going to leave all of this in the description for you so that you can use it. But basically, this is the file that Hecate uses in order to either boot into MU MMC or MUNAND, the SysNAND, or the stock switch. Obviously, the stock switch is the switch without any modifications. This is just a normal Horizon OS. Uh, this is MUNAND, uh, the switch with uh, all the freaky stuff you may have in, in there, maybe cheats, maybe mods, etc. And this is uh, uh, like a combination because this is uh, the SysNAND, which is the stock switch. Uh, this, all the things that you're going to have in the stock switch, games, apps, and settings are going to be here in the SysNand. But the difference is that the SysNand will be using Atmosphere, so it will have the CFW. So this is where, what I use to uh, overclock the switch in uh, the SysNand. So you're gonna not gonna you if you forget it, of, about all of this, uh, you're gonna have all of this in the description anyway so don't worry about it so uh, you copy this and you paste it into this um, file and that's pretty much it you save and close the other thing you have to be aware of is that you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see a file right here called exosphere.ini open it up and you're gonna see uh, a bunch of stuff. These are only comments explaining exactly what you should have uh, in the things you can use in this uh, file. But what's important here are these two right here. This file is what prevents the console from uh, connecting to Nintendo servers. So this obviously has to be an one. One means enabled, zero means disabled. One means enabled, so in MUMMC, you won't be connecting to Nintendo servers, which is obviously recommended so that you won't get banned. And on SysMMC, I have an on zero, so that I will be able to connect to Nintendo servers on the SysNand. This is what allows me to go into the Nintendo eShop, to update my system, to download games uh, from the Nintendo eShop and everything in the SysNand with the CFW. So uh, on default, this is obviously on one. 
And if it is on one and you go into the sysnet with CFW once you connect to the internet, the switch will crash or you will have a bunch of error messages. So put this on zero, you save and you close. So those are pretty much the only two things you have to be aware of. And now you have to go ahead and eject the SD card. Now we're back to the switch. Uh, we're going to close out the USB tools. And if you modified the Hakate IPL like I told you, and you didn't have those uh, settings like I did, you're going to probably have to reboot your switch. Um, but since I already have those, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, you're going to see in launch that you have the three options that I told you about. So you have the MUMMC, the Sys NAND with CFW, and the stock switch. The one that we're going to choose for uh, our case scenario is obviously the Sys NAND with uh, CFW. So we start it up and you're going to see that it puts up the atmosphere logo and then you're going to see and that it, the switch puts up normally see there we go now that we're on sysnan mmc you're going to see that this is the sysnan this is where i uh have all of my games that i bought off the uh Nintendo eShop and just so that you, I can show you that this does in fact have CFW I'm gonna open Ultra Hand and I'm gonna open the homebrew uh, menu and everything works just like any other CFW so that's pretty much it. Uh, the first time you do this, you will probably get uh, some error messages when you're trying to connect to any of Nintendo services, albeit uh, be that the Nintendo eShop or some online games. Don't panic. Those aren't messages saying that you are banned. I got a lot of them when I first do uh, when I first did this, and the thing that helped uh, mitigate those errors was first going into your um, network options, your internet options, and changing your DNS to uh, Google's DNS. There are a lot of tutorials in YouTube in, uh, into how, how to do that. And that helped. And also uh, rebooting your switch uh, a few times may also help with that. But those errors usually go uh, uh, on its own. But don't panic again. Um, though those errors don't mean that you are banned. And in order to show you that I am in fact not banned, I'm going to go into the Nintendo eShop. And as you can see, it loads normally. If I was banned, uh, I would get a really bad error message saying that I can't access your Nintendo servers because uh, my account was suspended or something like that. Or maybe not. I'm not exactly sure what message you would get if you were banned. But as you can see, I'm not banned. I'm using CFW and everything is just normal. So. For the people that think that just by having a switch that's modded and you connect to Nintendo service, you will get banned, you are wrong. As you can see, I just demonstrated that it's totally feasible to do and it's not something that is complicated or anything. So that was the tutorial, guys. If you have any other questions, if you have any other error message, if you still don't, if you if you didn't understand something that I explained in the video, be sure to comment down below. And if you did like this video, please like it and subscribe. I will be posting more videos in the future. And well, thank you so much for 
uh, watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.